What's up guys, Chatty CRC here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. This is going to be the next episode in the Clean FPV series. If you want to help me out, of course the video is monetized and I do have some Amazon affiliate links down there in the description. Don't worry, I'm not biased or sponsored or nothing or don't care about making this full time. It's just to help pay for the Adobe fees. So anyway clean FPV part three very very important flight controllers alright I'm gonna move some of these out of the way and let's focus on these two flight controllers here a Bardwell F4 and a Seal Racing F4 if you look at both of them they pretty much are the same they just have a little bit of a different layout they have the same target information and beta flight butterfly and everything like that they perform about the same uh, the regulators in my opinion on these are both weak I have gotten noisy FPV out of both of them I've had one decent one that runs in my five and a half inch proton um, as far as the Bardwell F4 goes and really that's about it I mean pretty much everything we buy in this hobby is just junk anyway it's just you know mass produced produced as fast as it can be we ask for so much and they're putting so much on these boards now that it basically just becomes a hot mess um, when you got 5s or 6s power pumping into these things and we put caps on to protect them and all that kind of stuff and you have these teeny weeny little junky 5 volt regulators that are just working so hard to like drive down that voltage to like 5 volts to like power your receivers or 3.3 volts to power your spectrum stuff whatever so anyway I've had pretty good experiences with uh, both of them you know I, I would say the CL racing I think everybody's pretty much over it now because there's a lot of different options this was like the hotness like four or five months ago uh, the Bardwell F4 I think is still pretty solid that people are buying but it's luck luster may be wearing off as well because you know there's better flight controllers out there like the Helio Spring that people are tr really trying to like innovate and do good things with the hobby they're not just let resting on their laurels of what they're comfortable with and making a board like this that really is only capable of running smart audio if you do an extra hack and free sky telemetry it's hard to wire up like crossfire and GPS and everything like that if you wanted to use this for like a medium medium range or long range build but then you have a flight controller like this which is the Motor Labs Tempest F4 and this flight controller has been out for like a year and I think it kinda got like sucked in while the other stuff was like just being hyped up like while a bunch of us were buying DYS F4 Pros and burning those out like crazy 5 volt regulators again always failed but if you just look at the comparison between these two boards you know everything is just you know you think like these bigger solder pads are better and stuff but really it's not in my opinion I like these as far as being able to use connectors to like wire stuff up something that flight one's doing some people might hate it but when the connectors come and they're already pre-made and you just plug in your crossfire you just plug in your unify and you just plug in your run cam and all you got to wire up is your ESC's and maybe a buzzer I mean it just makes for a cleaner build less heat on this flight controller to like ruin things so we're talking cleaner FPV once again because there's less chance of you damaging the board flip it over very little components on the bottom um, as compared to 
these which you know have like black box readers and all this kind of stuff and everything that you know some people may want some people might not want and again this is all truly based on like opinion and I have no scientific evidence all I have really it to produce is video evidence and that some of the best flyers out there in the West in California are using this uh, Richard Shelton and a lot of his buddies pretty much the, a lot of people that are on the long range hooligans or the mid range mountain surfing group are using this board in their epic builds I've got it in both of mine this thing handles 5s power with no problem I get no lines in my video no nothing this controller just works it's just clean and it's a year and a half old and if I had to buy a couple more right now I would have no problem buying a couple more of these because I know it just works for what my needs are it's got the OSD built into it it's all I need so anyway that's just a quick overview of flight controllers and my opinions of them and what I think is going on and what I think is a, a terrible shame so you know if you want to do something that's tested and works the Tempest if you want to do something that is good hardware and innovative definitely the spring but if you want something that's going to have a new version out every two or three months then go with the Bardwell or a CL Racing talk to you later